Hello and welcome to the Healthy Ireland Smart Start Training Programme. I'd like to start by giving you some background information on the programme, what's involved and why we have identified preschool managers and staff as important to ensuring the future health of children. Lifestyle patterns are set at an early age. Chronic diseases like diabetes, cardiac disease and others can develop as a result of poor lifestyle choices. Preschool settings can play a significant role in promoting health behaviours and attitudes. This programme is the result of over 10 years work with multiple partners to ensure children in preschools in Ireland are supported to adopt healthy lifestyle behaviours as early in life as possible. Healthy Ireland is our national framework for action to improve the health and well-being of the people of Ireland. Healthy Ireland takes a whole of government and whole of society approach to improving health and well-being. This training programme demonstrates this approach where all agencies, individuals and disciplines sharing a common interest in children's development came together to ensure the best health outcomes for children. The topics addressed in this training are of particular importance and significance for preschool children. The training programme consists of six modules. The first is health promotion, where participants will be given an understanding of the principles and values which underpin all health promotion programmes. The second module, emotional health and wellbeing, will support preschool staff to develop a nurturing environment within which children can learn to understand and express their feelings, positive and negative. Ensuring the emotional well-being in early years is vitally important for the promotion of all other aspects of a child's development. Physical activity, the third module. This module will help support the creation of fun environment, providing lots of opportunities for regular physical activity. The nutrition module will assist the preschool to encourage healthy eating habits. This is a fundamental to the development of healthy lifestyles generally and to ensuring the prevention of obesity and other chronic illnesses later in life. Oral health, the fifth module, will highlight the risks associated with the consumption of certain foods and drinks and will support preschools with advice on how to enhance this aspect of a child's health. Our sixth module is health and safety. While you're familiar with the standards required, this module will help enhance that knowledge in providing safe, hygienic, hazard and disease-free environments and will assist you to risk assess and prevent injuries so that children can live, learn and play more safely. Through participation in the Healthy Ireland Smart Start training, you'll be offered the opportunity to submit for recognition as a Healthy Ireland Preschool Service. Finally, I hope you enjoy the training programme and thank you for your time in committing to participate. My name is Anne Lorden and I'm manager here in Teddy's community and at Play School and After School Drumcolourher, County Limerick. We're in operation over 20 years now. We currently have 19 children on ECCE scheme. When the Healthy Ireland programme came up, we applied for it and we were lucky enough to get chosen to do it. And on a personal level and on the level of our staff, it was one of the most beneficial programmes we have ever done and it ties in very well with the Ashtar Shilta as Ashtar and that is all built around health and well-being, belonging, identity and with our Healthy Ireland uh, programme we really emphasise our emotions, the physical uh, aspect of it and overall health because we feel that what children learn now in preschool, their life learning skills. Some people might look at academic side of things, whereas we believe when you learn it at an early age, the academic will all come. And especially with mental health, all those different issues, that if a child can identify at an early age how they're feeling, why they're feeling it, and are able to talk about it and even with our little boys we see you know that a little boy can cry it's okay for them to cry and they can feel sad 
things go. So we, we really work on that and we see a big change in that. My name is Cleana Feely and my daughter Lucy has been uh, coming to Teddy's Play School for a year and a half now. She's in her second year and she's four. They do, um, I suppose, the, the books and the dressing up and the playtime. Um, she loves going for walks or adventures as she calls them. Um, and playing outside is a big part, uh, which she really enjoys. And they do other activities like arts and crafts, which she loves bringing home something that she's made during the day. And it's like a brother and sister bringing home homework, it's, it's what she enjoys. She's the youngest of three and uh, I think Lucy probably behaves the most responsibly of the three as well. Um, she's very aware of things like the healthy eating. Um, she'd be very conscious of what goes in her lunchbox. Um, she would regularly question me as to whether it should be something should be in there or shouldn't be, you know, is there too much sugar in it? Or um, so, and she'd watch the other older ones' lunch boxes as well. In terms of healthy eating, and that she certainly has taken a lot of that on board. Um, she's kind of she likes this kind of structure at home now as well. Um, whereas before she would have just liked you know free time to play or whatever. But I suppose when they're used to routine in one place, it feeds through, and she likes a bit of structure at home as well now. We have our play area outside but we also have a green area which means crossing the road so we use our high-vis vests and that and some of the children come in now and they are horrified to see a child walking without a high-vis so again I think that what they're learning with us is really paying off. I just feel that the Healthy Ireland programme Smart Start and that they are invaluable programmes. They cover such a wide range for children and adults. My name is Diane Darcy. I'm the manager here in Great Cullen Parish Childcare Centre. We have 44 children attend here on a daily basis for the ECCE Free Preschool and we have 42 children attend our junior preschool. The Healthy Ireland Smart Start programme fits in very well with the Astor curriculum, which is what we offer here. We work on the children's emerging interests, but within that we are able to promote the emotional literacy and well-being. Uh, that is something we've really taken on board here. We find that it's very important that we get the children at a very young age to become aware of their feelings and being able to talk about them. My name is Anne Kinsler and my child's name is Elliot Kinsler. He's age four and um, he's in the preschool for uh, a year now. Activities that Elliot is involved in are the emotions. He says if they're fe if they've any type of feelings, if they're feeling sad or lonely or in any way, they go over to uh, their little seat near the emotion tree, and uh, then I would always pick up on where are you sad or where are you what were your emotions and stuff. So um, it might be that someone else was playing with a toy and he felt sad over it, but it's good that he'd express how he felt. Well, we've had a lot of feedback from the parents about the programme and the feedback has been very positive, especially around the emotional well-being and how ch children will come home and say to them, I feel an emotion that could be sad, happy, and they're using new words like angry or, you know, um, frustrated. It's very, parents find that very funny when the child says, you know, I'm feeling frustrated and we have a lot of props and sometimes the children will draw a picture for the parents and it will show a sad face or a happy face to describe what they're feeling. Um, we also had some sets of books from the NCN and we were able to sell those to the parents and they were very happy with the range of emotions that the books covered and great demand for those and it really helps the parents to understand when the children are talking about emotions what we have covered here and it allows them to sort of give the same answers at home. I think it's very important for Elliot to um, learn these at a very early stage. Um, especially to express the emotions, um, if you're happy, if you're sad, 
uh, angry and talk, it, talk about it. I would always ask Elliot to explain to me why he is feeling sad, why he is feeling angry, do you know, give me an example and stuff like that. So I think once you conquer it here in the preschool at an early stage and, and know that you can come home and talk about it, that's, that's very important to me. As I have noticed with Elliot, he, um, he's become more confident and um, a lot more confident and playing and more friends and nearly wants them over now and stuff like that. He's very, uh, gone very confident now, absolutely, yes. We spent a lot of time looking at the resources that, we're going to, that we use for the emotional wellbeing and literacy element of the programme. And we have social skill dolls, which are Max and Millie, which are also puppets, and you're able to implement lots of learning using the dolls. We also use rocks with emotion faces on them, so they're all in a big box and the children can take them out depending on how they feel. We have an emotions tree, so we have little faces with emotions on it, and the child will fit which emotion they feel best fits them at that time and hang it on the tree. And if we see it there, then we know that the child is feeling like that and that's, we try then maybe find a book that relates to what they're, they're feeling. And we also have CDs that we play. Um, some of it can be to relax, some of it can be to cheer us up. Uh, think, so that's the sort of things that we use to implement the emotional literacy. Table, My name is Alison King. I run Screen Hill Preschool here in Screen Tower. We're in County Me, and we have seven children all together in our preschool. The children really enjoy activities um, around the music. We do some, we do art and draw to the music, and they love to move and dance and talk about how the music makes them feel. And um, sometimes that leads to a bit of dramatic play and excitement, and sometimes. Um, it, it can be a bit sad if they listen to sad music, but uh, they really like the way the music makes them feel and how they can uh, react to it. The music is its really unique, it's nothing like any of the other CDs we have, and the children love that they link to the books that um, the National Childhood Network gave us. They like to go and look at the pictures and connect it to how they're feeling, so the angry music, and they look at the volcano in the book. So it really kind of brings it all around, makes it very holistic for us. They use chalks or crayons or paint to illustrate how they're feeling. It's really interesting to compare the sad um, paintings with the happy ones. And they're not always the same, sometimes it's different, so it, but it really makes them think about how they're feeling. I've seen a huge benefit for the children when we've talked about our emotions. We have our emotions board and our feelings board on the door. And the children really, sometimes when they're coming in, they can share with their friends how they're feeling. If it's not a happy feeling or um, kind or loved, the other children would generally gather around to see what, you know, why the child is feeling that and ask what happened. And that can lead to a lot of discussion, a lot of talk, some, um, sometimes some tall tales, some discussions. But generally then we can resolve it and try to get it back to maybe a more a, a happy feeling because they, they prefer to feel happy and joy and loved. Um, rather than angry or sad. The children have started to use um, descriptive words to describe their emotions, so they, we, um, we definitely get sadness, we get happiness, and the children are able to share these emotions with their friends, and they can tell each other stories of how they make them feel, and I've seen a huge rise in levels of empathy, and they really feel for each other, they don't want someone to feel lonely or sad, so they will act or behave in, in ways to make that person feel well like offering hugs or help or drawing pictures for each other. So it's really brought out a sense of community in our little group. It's been lovely. My name is Bernie McIntyre and I'm mum to Rena McIntyre and Rena has been attending the play school um, together with her brother Darren McIntyre since about October 2014. Well Rena participates in all the activities on the programme which would be um, health promotion, nutrition, physical activity, oral health, health and safety and emotional well-being with literacy. 
The importance of learning these skills from an early age are vital for children as young as Rena. It's extremely important so that she can carry those forward in life and as she progresses and develop herself and all the different characteristics that she would need. Rena loves physical activity and I suppose I, am, I myself would have um, a huge interest in physical activity. And as a family, we would be very much um, an outdoors family. So um, Rena loves everything to do with the outdoors. She loves the beach, loves water, sand, anything that she can do in terms of play there. Um, and again, in in terms of physical activities like football and camogie, they've been involved in the local clubs and sports. It's a balance of nutrition as well as a, huge, a hugely important part of it um, and a good well balanced diet and I would find for our children, um, particularly Rena being part of the programme, you know, she, she loves all the good foods because we introduce them at home and it's very important that we introduce them as a parent from an early age um, and that encourages the children then to develop taste for everything as opposed to certain types of foods. So no, um, a good well balanced diet and nutrition is as as important as physical activity, both together um, makes it healthy and happy. My name is Kim Stoddart and I'm preschool leader here in Happy Feet in Carrigallon in County Leitrim. We have 18 children participating in the programme and they vary in age from three and a half to five years. We've done the six areas from the Smart Start training. We do the healthy eating. We have a full daycare setting here which provides children with breakfast, dinner and tea. We have a daily menu and the menu is changed every so often so that the children are not eating the same foods all the time. The foods are taken from the food pyramid so that they have a different variety of foods every day. The nutrition part of the Smart Start training, we have a healthy eating policy in place and all the children bring in healthy snacks every day. And we also have a sugar display out in the hall for the parents to see how much sugar actually is in a lot of the items that their children may be consuming. Because sugar is hidden in a lot of foods that you don't think it's in, including cereals. We are proactive in implementing a healthy eating programme in the Crossroads and Kelly Garden Community Playgroup. Um, one of the techniques that we use to implement our healthy eating is Chef Charlie. Chef Charlie is a little puppet and he comes with his own chef hat, his little apron and his little bag of food. We implement this activity during large group activity where every child is provided with an opportunity to meet Chef Charlie and engage. Chef Charlie sits on the ground with the group of children and the adult encourages each child to come up and choose food from the bag and place it in either the healthy or the unhealthy side. And um, there's no right or wrong because children are learning about what food is healthy and what food is unhealthy. We were amazed at the knowledge the children had regarding healthy and non-healthy food. My name is Claire Temple. My daughter, Avian, who will be five next week, is attending this play school, Crossroads and Killygordon Play School. Um, this is her second year and she's due to finish up in June. So when Avian is at home, she does reinforce the elements she has learned in the Smart Start program. Uh, it reinforces a positive attitude towards healthy eating. And even when we're out shopping, she will select fruit and veg and mention what she has been told in school about it. Carrots are good for your eyes. This is brain food. When she comes into school, they have to bring a snack every week and she always chooses a healthy option when we're out shopping. And she helps um, put her siblings' lunchbox together and is able to tell me what is healthy and non-healthy items, which is stuff that she learns at home and through the programme. I think the Smart Start programme does prepare um, my child for the transition to national school. I think it even goes beyond that. It's building the foundation blocks for a healthy lifestyle and lifelong attitude to healthy living, both mentally and physically. I think it's a great start. Emotional literacy is more than relevant, and given the current obesity epidemic, you know that focus on nutrition and physical activity is hugely important. I'm 
Stephanie Lunny and uh, my little boy Kieran is four and he's been coming to this crash since he was six months. He talks about a lot at home, his big thing is healthy eating and uh, his, the, uh, brushing his teeth, so the oral health part of it seems to be his big thing. Dental hygiene is very important at their age because it's their first teeth and uh, they need to learn about looking after their teeth uh, to begin with and uh, to brush away the plaque and uh, all the sugar that they eat during the day that they're not supposed to. And whenever they first started the healthy eating program, uh, I wasn't really aware to begin with what they were doing. Um, and Kieran started coming home and saying, uh, whenever I was making the dinner, say one night I was making pizza, he'd be like, oh no mummy, we can't have that, that's not healthy. Kim says that's not healthy. He'd be just pointing out things to me actually and making me more aware as the weeks went on. Because um, we used to drink a lot of juice, like my wadi and things and he would be telling me that now he wanted to drink water instead because that's way more healthier. And uh, to make uh, smoothies was another big thing because we wouldn't have really had smoothies in the house and they obviously would be talking about them at uh, preschool. So we started making smoothies then, which has been great because it's a big family thing, you know, you can do it all together. My name's Dominic Taff and my son is Nabil Taff who's three years of age and has been attending um, Carrie Gallen childcare facility here for well, since he was in nursery and then progressed up to the preschool on the end of August. Um, the activities that he does are uh, sort of oral health uh, in terms of you know learning to, to brush his teeth on a regular basis. The importance of learning the skills is that uh, that he's aware of the, the need for him to be able to look after his teeth you know in relation to the, the foods that he eats. Uh, he's more than aware and conscious of you know, which are the healthy foods and which are, are not. And so uh, he's very keen to, you know, to, to, to please, if you like, as well, uh, in relation to the, the brushing of his teeth and also to, to mouthwashing with them as well. It was important to me when, you know, uh, enlisting him, enrolling him in school, that uh, there's a continuity, you know, uh, from the school to the home or in vice versa, that, you know, it's important that, you know, what I was teaching him at home would be also reinforced when in school. So, you know, that was paramount really, you know, and, and really, you know, important to me, you know, that uh, that continuity continued from the school and at home. I think the programme is very good and it's very worthwhile doing in preschool because I have recently done a literature review on obesity in preschool settings. And the figures from Healthy Ireland show that at least 25% of three-year-olds are either overweight or obese. And from that research, it shows that this age group, the preschool age group, are the easiest age group to target to try and get them into healthy habits at a young age. It's easier to change now than when later on in life. I, told, I have a set of teeth and I actually told the kids that were my teeth that I'd spent all weekend taking them out, but I don't think they believe me. <laughs>
the preschooler Amy, she sort of takes everything literally, so um, she is telling us that we need to park further away from the cars, that she's gonna, the car is going to come close, too close to her, and they've been doing stranger danger as well, so she's chatting about that the whole time. You, can, you nearly know what they're doing in crash because she's talking about it at home, you know. She sort of takes everything, what you say, as Bible. You can hear it coming in at the weekends, and if you're like if we're at Super Value or we're at one of the shops or something, she'll be holding on to your hand, or you know. Whereas she might have been running away two weeks ago, she's she's holding on now, and she realises that there's maybe other things she needs to think about other than just whatever sweet she's looking for, you know. So you can see, it, you can definitely see it coming in at home. Hannah um, is an after schooler. She's nine. She's been coming here since she was six months old. Um, two years ago she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, which is a massive shock to the family. With Hannah um, type 1 diabetes, she can't eat any carbohydrates without taking insulin. So we have to weigh all her food here and we have to count the carbohydrates. We then input that into her blood reader and it'll tell the girls how much insulin she needs to do. So the girls then have to monitor that Hannah's given her her insulin injection properly. So. Um, and also that Hannah needs to have a go-to person that if she's out the back playing and she suddenly feels low, she knows who to go to and they can recheck the bloods and make sure that she's still doing fine. Hannah is an after-school child, so when she comes in, there's a key worker there who will monitor her and make sure that her sugars are correct. Um, Hannah's very independent and she does know what she's doing, but it's just important for Hannah to know that she has somebody that she can come to, um, just to make sure that she is okay um, and this is on it, obviously monitored throughout the day. Um, we do like to build confidence in children and give them a sense of independence. So Hannah's actually planning on um, promoting a slideshow in which she's going to deliver to her friends just to give them a bit more of an insight into her condition. Put your arm in there. Okay. Yeah. It's really important to promote health and safety when we are out and about. Um, we do, we are um, in a built up area, we do go on outings a lot, we go on walks to the park and it's just important to always be meeting your correct ratios when you are out, um, to have your first aid kits when you go, to be wearing your high vis jackets um, and the children are so aware of this now that they actually go looking for it because it is something that we do when we go out. What are the children in this picture doing? Running. 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 And are we supposed to run when we're inside? No. No, oh, what might happen? Fall. And, and fall. And smash your head. You could smash your head or whatever. We have mind maps and we have circle time discussions and they're fantastic and you know, the children become really enthusiastic in what they're saying. I think the benefits of being on the Healthy Smart Start programme is that the support um, that's involved in it. There's so many centres around um, that are actually on the programme and we were, the training was fantastic as well within it. Um, the support when we were putting through um, the portfolio as well. Um, I think the, the Healthy Smart Start programme, it just makes you more aware of what you're doing on a daily basis. And the six units are fantastic. Um, and they're so broad and vast that they actually coincide with the emergent curriculum that we use here. Um, they work really, really well with Shielta and Ashter as well. Um, the website's actually fantastic to use. It's so easy when you go on it and there's so much information um, on the website as well. You can actually download posters for your bathroom and there's Keep It Safe document as well, which is um, a fantastic document for parents and staff alike, just to make you a little bit more aware of health and safety as well. Thank you.